I've been using monitor arms for over 17 years, and they're one of my favorite desk accessories. Recently, I decided to buy five of the most highly rated monitor arms on Amazon to see if they'd live up to all those high scoring reviews. Can they hold 27 inch and 32 inch monitors? And are they even stable? Let's jump right into it to find out. The first monitor arm we're taking a closer look at is the North Bayou, which retails right around that $30 mark. And with almost 15,000 ratings, it has the most ratings of any of the arms that I tested. One of the first things that I noticed about the North Bayou was how similar it looked to the Huano brand, which is something we'll look at here next. The North Bayou comes with a clamp and grommet mount system, and I found that the clamp system is identical to the Huano brand. The overall fit and finish of the arm was much better than I had expected for the price. There was a mix of plastic, steel, and aluminum for the construction of this arm. And overall, it was probably the nicest looking model of the five that I tested. Per the instructions, it can support monitors from 4.4 pounds up to 19.8 pounds and monitors that are 17 inches up to 30 inches in size. Now through my testing, I did find it didn't have any issues supporting both the 27 and the 32 inch monitors in height. But I did find that with the 32 inch monitor, it didn't necessarily love being tilted in the upwards position towards the user. Otherwise, it seemed to work fine in all the other positions that I tested. Now there is some wire management included with the North Bayou. This was another key difference between that and the Huano. The wires are definitely easier to push into the cable management for the North Bayou, but I did find that the upper clip was a bit flimsy and it sort of sagged a bit with just a few wires in it. Overall, the North Bayou is pretty good with stability with the lighter 27 inch monitor. But like most arms, when fully extended, or with the 32-inch monitor, it was less stable, and there was a bit more bounce than some of the other models tested. The next arm in the list is the Huano, which is about 4 to $5 more expensive than the North Bayou. It's just under $35. Now again, at first glance, these two models do look very similar, but I did find overall the Huano felt a bit cheaper and looked a bit cheaper as well, with some more plastic in obvious places, the most notable being the upper arm for the monitor arm. There was a difference here though in the actual Huano's cable management system, which I found to be a little bit less intuitive than the North Bayou system, mostly because it just wasn't as easy to access, but it doesn't necessarily mean it was a terrible thing. The first thing is you're required to actually loosen a few screws to access the cable management on the Huano arm. Now stability wise, I'd say these two arms really felt very similar. There was also a difference in the adjustment function of the Huano monitor mount and how it held the monitor's position when tilted sort of up and toward you with a 32 inch monitor. It had no issues holding this monitor in position and didn't want to sink back. So if that's something that you plan to do with your monitor, this might be a better option. It really had no issues with either the 27 or 32 inch monitors in all of the different positions. Unfortunately though, there wasn't enough flexibility in the arm to easily rotate it into a portrait mode, but just so that you know, you could also tilt the monitor up and swing it around, or you could just mount it that way if you plan to use it full time in portrait mode. I was able to find a documented warranty for the Huano product line, and per the Huano site, they did include a five year warranty for all of their monitor mounts. Overall, I think the Huano is probably worth the extra four to five dollars, especially if you like a bit more permanent cable management system, a better hold for the monitor pivot point, and then actually having a warranty that's documented. The mount up arm that I tested currently sells for around the $34 mark. Now this is my least favorite of the group, and it's mostly just because the North Bayou and Huano options feel a bit higher quality for around the same price point. There is a bit more plastic on the mount up as well, and the finish just didn't feel quite as nice. The mount up comes with a grommet and C-clamp mount option, and like the rest of the arm, this feels slightly cheaper than the other options that I tested. I also didn't have any issues with the mount up holding both the 27 and 32 inch monitors in various positions. Unfortunately, I did find that it wouldn't work in portrait mode since it didn't quite lift up high enough off the desk surface. But this arm was also the least stable of the group, so if stability is important, you want to be conscious here. With the stability not being so great and a concern for that warranty support, I'd likely pass on this model. It just felt cheaper for the same money or less money. You could honestly pick something better. 
The Vivo arm I tested was the least expensive option in the group, starting at just under $28. It was also the most basic system with no gas or spring adjustment arm for height changes, so the lowest price here is honestly to be expected. I have to say though, the Vivo brand is the only one I'm somewhat familiar with of the five different arms tested. This leads me to believe they're probably the most likely to be your safest option when it comes to a support standpoint. That's why I feel most confident about their three-year warranty, even when compared to Huano's five-year warranty. Now, if you don't plan to make a lot of height changes, the Vivo arm is super solid, and it was probably my favorite because of the overall heavy-duty feel to it. Most of it is made from a strong steel, so I felt confident using the lighter 27-inch monitor and even the 32-inch LG in various positions. There isn't enough range, strangely, on this arm to easily rotate the monitor into portrait mode when you're looking at the 32-inch monitor, but you could easily pull the monitor off and attach it in portrait mode, or you could tilt or pivot the monitor forward and make that rotation as well. Through my testing, I didn't find that there were any issues holding the monitors in various positions for both 27 and 32 inch configurations. Fortunately though, if you do plan to make a lot of height adjustments, you'll need to loosen a bolt on the arm and then slide the monitor up and down the tall post. There is minimal cable management on the post as well, but it's missing on the arm extending out to your monitor. For this, I chose to wrap the cables, but you could also look at something like Velcro or straps as an alternative. I also noticed there was a bit more of an issue here with the range of adjustment with the pivoting arm system. You can actually see here how it's limited as you try to collapse it onto itself. Honestly, of all the models I tested, I'd probably feel the safest with a larger monitor on this arm versus the other options that I tested. While the arm that I tested is the most expensive option of all the arms, now hold your breath because it came in at $39.99. The Amazon single arms are just super affordable. And this is probably my favorite of the group from a functional standpoint and maybe also the ugliest of the group all at the same time. The Wally is the second post arm system in the group, but it is quite a bit different from the Vivo. Overall, I found the Wally arm to be well built and heavy. The upper arm did have some additional plastic housing, which felt cheap and did look a bit cheap, but overall, it did have a more finished look than the Vivo with the plastics. There was also wire management for the post and the extension arms. I found that all the wire management was super easy to use and I did really like this feature. There was also wire management for the post and the extension arms. I found all the wire management to be super easy to use and I really did like this feature on the Wally arm. There is a ton of height adjustment range with the Wally, allowing you to quickly adjust the monitor up or down or even switch from landscape to portrait mode. It easily supported both the 27 and 32 inch monitors that I tested. With the main arm though attached to the post, there's even more height flexibility beyond the height of just the back post, which is nice if you need that extra height range. A couple of concerns I do have with this brand over others mentioned before would be the warranty and contacting support. I couldn't find any information about their warranty, only a website that they own stating it was different for different products. Not very deep there. Also, their contact us page didn't work. So if you go this route, hopefully you won't need anything beyond what they originally send you. Now, if you're still not sure if a monitor arm is a good fit, check out my other video, Do Not Buy a Monitor Arm Until You Watch This, to decide if this is a good investment for your setup. Thanks a lot for watching.